For almost a century, Tutankhamun's dazzling treasures displayed in the Cairo Museum have told the story of the boy king's short life. But now, as all of his 5,000 treasures are being brought together at the new Grand Egyptian Museum, another far stranger tale is emerging. Not of Tutankhamun's life, but of his supernatural experiences after death. The ancient Egyptians weren't obsessed with death. They were obsessed with living and they wanted to live the best life they could and they wanted that to continue if they could after death. Egyptologists believe this is why Tutankhamun's tomb was crammed full of everything from golden statues to simple loincloths. His tomb was a colossal supernatural suitcase packed with everything he'd need to help him navigate the afterlife and live there forever. But what did Tutankhamun expect to find when or if he got there? For Egyptologist Salima Ikram, the answer lies in some of the smallest items discovered in his tomb. You needed to eat in the afterlife, and Tutankhamun was a teenage boy, so clearly he wanted to be well supplied. And so he had bread, he had wine, he had pomegranates, little green onions and garlic, so he could flavor his food or munch on the green onion. And there are dates, there are piles of dates here. But what's really amazing about Tutankhamun's dates is that they were pitted, so he wouldn't have to chew around and throw out the pit. So these are really posh dates for the afterlife. And these were just the appetizers. For the entree, Tutankhamun could choose from an all-you-can-eat buffet of Egypt's finest meats. He had ribs, he had large joints of meat coming from the foreleg of, of cattle. And there are all these boxes of mummified poultry. Often the containers are made in the shape of what they are supposed to contain. It was a feast fit for a pharaoh, pre-cooked, pre-packed, and preserved for eternity. <laughs> 